Hello Year 5, let's get ready for today's maths meeting. For this session you're going to need something to write with and something to write on. Press pause now, make sure you have both of these things and then come back and press play once you are ready. We're going to be looking at the slides and pausing each time for you to work out the answer using the most efficient method. Then we will go through the answers together. Let's begin. We're going to start today with Patty Place Value. Today's number is 38,007. We're going to find 10 less and 100 less of this number. 10 less than 38,007 is 100 less than 38,007 is. Press pause now to work out your answer and then press play once you are ready to continue. Remember to use the sentence frames to help you with your answer. Well done. 10 less than 38,007 is 37,997. 100 less than 38,007 is 37,907. To find 10 less, I would need to look in the tens column. In this case, more than one digit in our number would change, and our answer would be 37,997. To find 100 less, I would need to look in the hundreds column. Again, because of where the zeros are placed in our number, more digits than just the hundreds column will change, and our answer would be 37,907. Moving on to Theo Think. Theo is thinking of a number with six ones, three hundreds, two tens, and nine thousands. Press pause now to work out the number that Theo is thinking of, and then press play once you think you've got your answer. Brilliant. I'm going to use my place value chart. I could fill in the digits in the order that it is said on the slides. I would first start with the six ones, then the three hundreds, then the two tens, and then the nine thousands. My number would be 9,326. We're on to efficient Addison now. Our question is 12,209. Add 9,999. Press pause now to work out the answer using the most efficient method and then press play once you're ready to work it out together. Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine needs one more to be a rounded number so that it is easier to add. So I would subtract one from twelve thousand two hundred and nine and I would regroup it onto nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. This changes my calculation and makes it easier, but it keeps the total the same. I would now have twelve thousand two hundred and eight. Add 10,000, which gives me 22,208. We're moving on to know what Noah knows. We're going to use related facts to solve the calculations which look quite tricky. You have 40 times 80, 300 times 70, and 6.4 times 200. 
Press pause now to work out the answer using the related facts and then press play once you are ready. Brilliant. I know that four times eight equals 32, but my answer needs to be a hundred times greater. So my answer would be 32, sorry, 3,200 multiplied by 100. I know that three times seven equals 21. I also know that my answer needs to be a thousand times bigger. If I multiply 21 by a thousand, my answer will be 21,000. For the last one, I could use two different methods. I know that 6.4 times 2 equals 12.8. I know that my answer needs to be 100 times bigger, so I'm going to multiply 12.8 times 100, which gives me 1,280. Or I could multiply 6.4 times 100, which is going to give me 640. I know that I would then need to multiply that answer by 2 in order to find out what the answer is times 200. 640 multiplied by 2 gives me 1,280. My answers are the same. We're going to try one more round of Know What No One Knows. You have 4,500 4, divided by 9 and you have 5,600 divided by seven. You need to use the related facts to work out the answers. Press pause now while you work out your answer and then press play when you are ready to continue. I know that 45 divided by nine gives me five. I also know that my answer needs to be 100 times bigger. So I would need to multiply five by 100, which gives me 500. For the second question, I know that 56 divided by seven gives me eight. I also know that again, my number needs to be 100 times bigger. So I would multiply eight by 100, which will give me 800. Now we're on to Robbie Roundham. We are rounding to the nearest 10. I would need to identify the number in my tens column, which is a five. If I looked at the last two digits on their own, the number would be 58. Therefore, I know that I would need to round 1,658 down to the nearest 10 would be 1,650. 1,658, if we were rounding up, would be 1,660. Now it's your turn. You need to round to the nearest 100. You are rounding 8,482 to the nearest 100. Identify the 100 and try to work out what your answer will be. Press pause now to have a go and then press play once you are ready to continue. Great work. I would first identify the number in the hundreds column. The number is four. If I looked at the hundreds on their own with the tens and the ones, I could see that the number would be 482. If 
I rounded 8,482 down to the nearest 100, it would be 8,400. And if I rounded it up to the nearest 100, it would be 8,500. Great job, Year 5. That's your maths meeting done for today. Remember, you can use these videos as much as you like if you need to revise or if there's anything that you found tricky and would like to go over.